Still in champion select? Go for someone like Fizz, who can easily dodge her stun and also main form of engage. Diana, who will always be able to gap close on her and stop her ultimate with E. Or Cassidyn, who will be able to not only dodge her stun, but engage right after and get out of her ultimate at any time. Orianna, who can now trade her in lane pretty easily and interrupt her ultimate. Zed, who can gap close, dodge stun and insta kill. And Talon, for the exact same reasons as Zed, are other viable counters too. Agnivia is Anivia's passive. When she dies, she turns into a motionless egg that will revive her after 6 seconds. So don't forget about it and dive and finish her off quickly before someone comes to the rescue. Her Q launches a flying orb that stuns enemies on second cast. Her W creates a wall for 5 seconds that becomes bigger the more points the summoner puts into them. Her E is a point click ability that does increased damage to enemies recently stunned by her Q or damaged by her ultimate. And now that we're talking about it, her ultimate creates a storm that slows and damages enemies per second. This can easily be interrupted by any form of CC or if she gets too far. Anivia is one of those champions that will really rely on hitting a stun to finish off her opponents. She'll most likely place a wall to force you to go into a predictable position and stun you that way, placing the ultimate and E to deal extra damage. She also has an incredible wave clear with her ultimate, which will be able to outpush and defend towers. As for spells, being the mid lane, there's a wide variety of spells I've seen Anivia's take. Perhaps teleport being the most common. Ignite versus her might be interesting if you want to trade and go for early kills, but barrier might also help you survive her combo or even cleanse to get out of her stun and ultimate. Anivia is one of those champions that remains useful all throughout the game. Being that her levels 2 when she gets her Q and E and level 6 when she gets to push and roam are her most notable level power spikes. A stacked Rod of Ages makes her both tanky and deal quite a bit of damage. And Seraph's Embrace gives her a shield that she so needs to survive ganks due to her low mobility. Thank you for tuning in and remember, bring something that either kills her fast in the early game or is able to deny her her roaming after pushing potential. Don't forget about her egg passive that revives her and try to abuse her low mobility after she misses a stun or misplaces a wall. Ultimately, have fun doing it.